back, my viewers and subscribers, Big Super is at the Sir Rudolph Elder Park. And um, we're going for, to a symposium, them keeping a symposium for boys. So stick and stay. One of the sponsors of them is GIS, so people, we're heading in the Rudolph Park to see what's taking place. Let me just hasten the time. Member of Parliament for Eastern St. Thomas, Dr. Michelle Charles, caretaker, Eastern St. Thomas, former mayor, Miss Rosemary Shaw, representative from the Lasco Chin Foundation, Miss Anna K. McIntosh. Minister of Religion and Pastor of the Christ Chapel United Pentecostal Church, Pastor Pauline Ellington, Justice of the Peace, who did a wonderful job in uh, conducting our devotional exercise. Mrs. Dave Marie Blake Brown, Vice Principal of Morris Bay Primary and member of the Boys Symposium Committee, Guidance Counselors of the Morris Bay Primary School, and members of the Boys Symposium, Mrs. Nadine Bedward Sims and Miss Abigail Wright. Miss Nadine Sims, Assistant Chief Education Officer for Media Services for the Ministry of Education and Youth, Senior Education Officer for the Guidance and Counseling Unit, Ministry of Education and Youth, and member of the Boys Symposium Committee, the Reverend Patricia Salmon. Territorial Education Officer for the Ministry of Education, Region 2, Mrs. Marcia Dallas Mackenzie, Miss Pamela Rodney, Just Justice of the Peace, Parish Manager for the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission, JCDC, and member of the Boys Symposium Committee, 
Minister of Religion, Pastor of the Martin Bay Circuit of Baptist Church is the Reverend Duquette Duncan. Representative of the Jamaica Teaching Council, Ms. Le Mr. Lanry Chin. Attorney at Law and member of the Boys Symposium Committee, Mr. Bertram Anderson. Detective Council Lorraine Kelly, St. Thomas Division. Heads of Department and other agencies, other members of the Boys Committee, other members of the Educational Fraternity, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, parents, members of the media our distinguished boys of saint thomas i greet you well good morning everyone i think that was a mouthful don't it i want to quote from a uh, an old hymn that says that is so fitting for our climate this morning it says there shall be showers of blessing this is the promise of love there shall be season refreshing sent from the Savior above. Certainly, God has been so good to us. And we have been boiling, we have been in the boiling hot sun for the past couple of days. And the earth has been so dried for some days. Yes. Yes, we have got the notification on the media that we have to be careful of how we are using the water. Yes. The water shortage. But God, I must say. He has been on time because we have been dry. And so he has sent down some rain for us. In spite of all that is happening, it is showers of blessing. And certainly, we ought to give God thanks and praise. Give him a round of applause, man. Without further ado, I'm going to invite our member of parliament for Eastern St. Thomas, Dr. Michelle Charles, to come and bring us greetings. Half of these boys are taller than me. <laughs> Mr. Mario Sams, you know, you're so energetic. Master of Ceremonies, it's so good to have you, the Master of Ceremonies. Did an amazing job uh, introducing everyone. So I stand on that protocol and say, distinguished guests, good morning. And say, boys, good morning, boys. Good morning. Good morning, boys. It is an honor to be here and to be a part of this important at-risk boys symposium initiative. When I got the call from Mr. Brown, I was very excited. Boys Power aims to empower, equip, and enhance the social, financial, emotional, and educational aspects of young boys in our developing space. I love the theme, today's boys, tomorrow's men. I'm impressed by the commitment of Mr. Jody Brown, aren't you? LASCO Teacher of the Year 2022-2023 and the entire Boys Power Team who make a positive difference in the lives of these young boys. Give them a round of applause. Last Sunday, we lost a visionary, a giant and a friend of St. Thomas Eastern, Mr. LaSalle's chin. He was a director of the Friends of East St. Thomas during my father's tenure here in St. Thomas Eastern. And I'd like not only to thank Lasco Chin Foundation for their sponsorship, but to ask you to rise for a moment of silence in his honor. God bless his soul. Have a seat. As a mother of a boy who is now a man, I know the challenges they go through on a daily basis. Between peer pressure and what we hear in the news, events like these are needed to give them hope. Let me challenge the adults here to say something positive to our young boys whenever you see them. 
words matter. So tell them that they're smart. Tell them that they're born to be head of households, wonderful husbands, and excellent fathers. It is important that we uplift and support the next generation of leaders. And this project is a step in the right direction and is needed nationally, don't you think? Yes. But you know, I'm proud that it's happening right here in Morant Bay and at 30, I thought it was 25, but when I got here, I found out 30 young boys from the parish of St. Thomas are here involved in this wonderful initiative. As your member of parliament and their Auntie Michelle, I met them earlier, I am committed to working with the organizations such as Boys Power and the other stakeholders here today and ensure that our young boys have access to the resources and support they need to succeed. Together we can create a brighter future for them. Together we work, together we shine. Say that with me, boys. Together we work, together we shine. Together we work, together we shine. Thank you for the opportunity to be here today. I'm so sorry that I have to rush off to Parliament, but I am leaving an upstanding young man who would be a great mentor. In his own right, I'm leaving a hometown Olympian, Mr. Wilbert Walker, to represent me. He's here. Stand up, Mr. Walker. And he will be handing out the trophies for the winners of the Trash to Cash competition. I look forward to more events from the Boys Power and for this to be an annual, you want it to be annual, right? An annual occasion where we work towards this common goal. Have a wonderful symposium. Thank you so much. Not yet here, but have indicated that they will be, and so we do want to recognize them. The Honorable Marcia Bennett, CDJP, Custis Road Tolerum of St. Thomas, Member of Parliament, Eastern St. Thomas, Dr. Mitchell Charles, His Worship the Mayor, Councillor Hubert Williams, Caretaker for Eastern St. Thomas, and former Mayor, Ms. Rosemary Shaw, Representative from the Laskachin Foundation, Ms. Anna K. McIntosh, Minister of Religion and Pastor of Christ Chapel United Pentecostal Church, Pastor Pauline Ellington, JP. Guidance counselors of the Morant Bay Primary School and members of the Boys Symposium, Mrs. Nadine Bedward Sims and Ms. Abigail Wright. Ms. Nadine Sims, Assistant Chief Education Officer for Media Services. Senior Education Officer for the Guidance and Counseling Unit, Ministry of Education and Youth, members of member of the Boys Symposium Committee, Reverend Patricia Salmon, Territorial Education Officer for the Ministry of Education and Youth, Region 2, Mrs. Marcia Dallas McKenzie, Ms. Pamela Rodney, JP Parish Manager for the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission and member of the Boys Symposium Committee. Minister of Religion and Pastor of the Morant Bay Circuit of Baptist Churches, Reverend Duquette Duncan. Child Psychologist from the St. Thomas Health Department, Ms. Sophia Mayer. Representative of the Jamaica Teaching Council, Mr. Lonry Chin. Attorney at Law and member of the Boys Symposium Committee, Mr. Bertram Anderson. Detective Constable Horin Kelly from the St. Thomas Division, heads of department and other agencies, other members of the Boys Symposium Committee, other members of the Educational Fraternity, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, parents, members of the media, and of course, our distinguished boys of St. Thomas. Welcome, welcome to all of you. Let us put our hands together for those who are here in our presence and those who are on their way. Thank you. My task this morning is very simple. It is to provide for you a basic rationale and put into perspective the mission or objective of this initiative by Mr. Jody Brown, Alaska Teacher of the Year, hailing from our parish, distinguished parish of St. Thomas. 
Sarah Brown is driven by a passion to uplift and empower youths. So he wanted his first official project in his current capacity to encapsulate this passion of his. His focus is on the primary school boys whose economical and social factors have put them at risk for displaying undesirable behavior at times. His objective is simply for all the boys present to have a memorable experience and to remind them that they are loved and can become nuggets of positive change within our society. And so I want to encourage all of us, despite the weather, to sit, relax, enjoy yourselves. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I will now ask Reverend Pauline Ellington to come and conduct our devotional exercise. Thank you, Mrs. Brown. And um, with what is happening on the outside, we recognize that the rain is around us, so I'm not going to be long at all. I just want to say all protocols observe. It is so good that we have such a wide cross-section of support for this boys' symposium today. And I really also want to congratulate Mr. Brown, the last for teacher of the year, and the committee that worked along with him to bring this into reality. You deserve a hearty hand clap. Well done. This is an excellent effort. And for the boys that are here, what a beautiful theme you have. Today, boys are tomorrow men. Let us stand. I'm just going to be a few minutes, but stand with me. Let's change our position. I don't know if you know this song, boys. I'm addressing you in particular. But it's, um, it, it is very simple and it is easy to catch. It says, I shall not die, but live and declare. The words of the Lord. Amen. Can you play for me, young men over here? Can you play that? You don't know it? All right. All right. You can sing along with me. It's easy to catch. I shall not die, but live and declare the words of the Lord. Amen. I shall not die. But live and declare the words of the Lord. Amen. 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 Oh, I shall not die, but live and declare. I speak that over your life today in the wonderful and mighty name of Jesus. We have so much crisis in our country with young men, you know, um, being at risk, being, you know, before they are able to live out their life at a very early age. You know, so many things are happening. But today, this opportunity is for you as young men to really have a different view to see how you can become what God created you to be. I want to encourage you today. It's a blessing being here. And I want you to remember this one thing. All the boys, all the boys, one thing. You, we have some things we are doing for our Sunday school month. And I'm sharing one of the tips with you. It says you never fail until you stop trying. You never fail until you stop trying. And this morning as we bow our heads, I'm going to pray. The scripture says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Philippians 4 and 13. Lord Jesus, as we are here on this wet morning, we give you praise and we tell you thanks. We see so much that is 
undesirable in the youth male population of our country. But we thank you for this symposium and we thank you for the committee and we thank you for this opportunity. And for these boys that are here, by extension, we reach the boys in St. Thomas and across our country, Jamaica. We pray for them in the name of Jesus. We thank God for the social intervention. We thank you for this symposium. But dear Lord God, we also know that there is a spiritual dimension. And so in your name, we commit them this morning. We commit their teachers, their guidance counselors, and their leaders. And we pray for your divine hand of blessing, not just for today, but for the rest of their life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. The Lord bless you. You may be seated. Anna K. McIntosh, who is representing NASCO Chain Foundation, to come forward and to bring greetings. Give her a round of applause as she comes. Good afternoon, everyone, or good morning. Don't know what time we are. Allow me to stand here because I'm too short. I'm almost the size of the podium. So afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm thankful to Mrs. Charles. Or good morning at this time. Thankful to Mrs. Charles who took the time out to give that minute of respect to searching who, as the chairman would have alluded, helped to make this possible. And he spoke a little bit about the journey, the black pepper, right? And I wanted to just add to that, that he sold the black pepper from his car with the support of his one little room that he was living in, right? And so LaSalle didn't only had a dream, you know, I wanted to be rich. LaSalle was focused. LaSalle knew that he was not a boy, but he needed to become a man. And in order to do that, he had to be focused. And so we bring greetings to everybody on his behalf, on his legacy, on his work which went above and beyond focusing on, you know, making products and all the Alaska that we love and we like and all the things that he made. But he saw the need also to applaud and to, to, to really go to the extent of just endorsing persons like Sir Brown, wherever he is all over the place, and just encourage persons like Sir Brown who is out there doing above and beyond, right? And so Sir Brown, a part of being the Alaska teacher of the year, is having his boys symposium, something that we all know is important, right? Because very often we have these sessions, but we're focusing today on the boys and what we are going to become. And so greetings to everybody once again on behalf of the Last Chin Foundation team. With us, we also brought our team, of course, with a little bit of refreshments and stuff. When we got here, it was warm, and we have beverages that can cool it down. We have our reduced sugar, um, I call juice. We have our water. And for those who are feeling a little bit too cold and want to warm down a little bit, we also have our tea and our new flavor, which is a coconut nutmeg. Make sure you all try that before you leave. With our little biscuits, you know, we have some festivals, some dukes, some tosh. I don't know if anybody's ever heard them names. They're pretty new. So you definitely want to check. Yes, festival. But not festival and jerk chicken, but festival biscuit, right? So ensure you try that on your way out. And I had the privilege of being the second speaker so I get to say all protocols observe instead of calling all protocols. But do have yourself a wonderful day, guys. Um, we're here to support Sir Brown, as Lasko would have wanted the passion to continue to help support and to recognize those persons. We have our police award of the year, we have our teachers, and we have our nurses. And these are persons we continue to recognize. And so to all the teachers and the guidance counselors who are out there, you know, doing the work, it is not unseen. And Sir Brown is a very evident um, recognition of that today. I want to just put our hands together for him. You know, you see him out there still running up and down in the rain and trying to get everything done, even though he needs his white and his suit and his tie. So do have a wonderful rest of the day, guys. Ensure you try out all the little fancies that we brought here for you guys to enjoy and to, you know, just have a good day. Yes? All right. I love the boys when they are bold. They rise up to the occasion. Yes. One, two, three, four, one more. One more, 
All right. No boys. I'm going to ask some questions. I'm going to ask you a few questions. I want you to answer them. Right? Nothing hard. Yes. Turn around to this so everybody can see you. All right? I may just very well touch the person. I'm going to ask a question so that persons can see you. Now. If you could be an animal, Sonny, which animal would you choose and why? Curtis. By the way, what's your name? Javari Campbell. Javari Campbell. Which school do you attend? My primary. All right, awesome. So if you're an animal, right? And and don't look at them, you know. Don't let them laugh. Make sure you're. This is your time to shine now, right? Take out your finger, out your mouth, right? Now, if you're an animal, what, which animal would you choose and why? A tiger. A tiger. Tell us why. Because he has claws. He has what? Claws. What? Claws. claws. All right. He has claws. All right. And we say he can roar. So when he comes to the prey, he can just attack those prey, right? Yes? Yes. Right. And so I take it that you, whatever the challenges you face, you attack them with your claw, right? You don't have claw now, you know, but you're going to attack them. You're going to deal with the mats, right? Yes. Yes. Say it confidently. Say yes. Yes. All right. Awesome. Very good. Now, what is your name, son? Shamari Edmondson. Huh? Shamari Edmondson. Shamari Edwardson. All right. What? What's Edmondson? All right. Which is the name of What is the name of your school? Spring Garden Primary. Yes, my boy. That's Spring Garden Primary and Infant School. Right. Now, I have a question for you. If you were to have a superpower, right? And what, what superpower do you wish you had? I would wish to have the power of teleportation. Tele oh, teleportation. You hear that, well, ladies and gentlemen? Tell me, what does that mean? Teleportation means to... Move from one place to another without people seeing you and know. Alright, go on, man. Clap them, clap them, man. You saw the boys are bright, yes? And tell us why. Because I. I live very far from school, and to walk to school, I teleport to school and teleport to other places without paying fear. All right, that's all right. Give him a round of applause. This is what the imagination is intended. You can sit down as you think. Yes, thank you so much. Very good. All right, very good. Now, come forward. Tell me, what is your name, son? Curtis Reed. Curtis Reed. And what school do you attend? Wilmington Primary and Infant School. That's Wilmington cool. Primary and Infant School. All right, my next question to it is to you. What is your idea for the next great invention? Mm. <laughs> All right, listen, listen. What is your idea for the next great invention? You know, let me give you an idea, right? While you're thinking. Yeah, yes, you know it? All right, all right. Let me hear from you. I would invent a phone that has three apps on it. An app that can give you super speed, an app that can make you be underwater, and an app that can make you invisible. And make it invisible. Wow! Listen now, you think that will come to, to pass at one day? I think so. Give him a round of applause. I like that. He said that if he has a phone, he's going to create apps that you can what repeat it so everybody can hear it that you can turn invisible that you can turn invisible yes have super speed have super speed yes and breathe underwater, and breathe underwater. can you imagine a coming from a phone in a, a phone app i love the imagination give him a round of applause yes man you must encourage your boys sit down very good yes my next question to you yes if you were given a million dollars, listen boys, we listen to each other now. Alright? If you were given a million dollars that you had to spend in a week, what would you buy? I would buy a car, a new house, 
Buy snacks. Yes. That's it, yeah. By the way, I didn't get his name. By the way, what, your, what is your name? Sorry, I get so ahead of time. What is your name? Kaji Bentley Mitchell. Kaji Bentley Mitchell. Which school do you attend? C4 Primary. C4 Primary School. Who's your guidance? Who's your, who do you come with? Miss Willis. Miss Willis is your guidance counselor? All right. Miss Willis, where are you? All right. Awesome. All right. Now, <laughs> and so Miss Willis will get the, 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 will get the car, right? All right. So tell us now, what would you do with a million dollars? Repeat it. I would buy a car, buy a house, buy snacks, water, and juice. All right, well, clap him, clap him. Yes, so he's already spending the money wisely. He's going to buy a house. Very important, yes? Give him a round of applause. Very good. All right. Now, my question to you is, if you could travel anywhere, right, where would you go? Before you answer that, what is your name? Rickon Reed and you attend inside primary and infant school. All right, very good. So if you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Overseas. Overseas. Where overseas? Because there are so many places that you can go overseas. Where exactly overseas? America. America. You would like to go to the United States of America. Tell us why. Because I want to meet the, the YouTubers. You want to meet the YouTubers? You go, boy. You can... Hey, give him a round of applause. All right, he wants to meet the YouTubers. Come on, we must encourage them and you know? clap them, clap them, man, clap them. Yes, we're talking about our boys, boys today and men tomorrow. You see that they have wonderful dreams. Yes, just like Mr. Lassell, Chief. Maybe some, maybe he may have gotten discouragement, but guess what? He still pursued his dream. Right? Thank you very much, Mr. Master of Ceremonies, Mr. Mario Sims, and might I say all protocols observed. I am very delighted this morning to be sharing in this symposium, very important symposium, Boys Symposium 2023. And the theme is today's boys and tomorrow's men. Isn't this a wonderful day? Because what is happening in our country today? Some people will say that the men or the boys are left behind. I don't agree with that. What we need to do is to give these youngsters the exposure and this is what is happening here this morning. And I'd like to congratulate Mr. Jody Brown and his organizer for bringing forth such a symposium. Because indeed, this is exposing our youngsters, especially the young boys, who will be the future men of tomorrow. You know, some of the American culture, I heard one of the youngsters say this morning that you would like to go to America. America is good and America is bad. Because I don't share in some of the American culture for our youngsters. When you look at the pants down the bottom here, that culture emanates from the United States of America. And I'd like to say to my boys, that I would like to see them properly dressed. Not with your pants on the hair yes. and your, 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 your brief, your inside thing is not is, is showing. I would like them to dress properly. And that side of the American culture, we are going to disassociate ourselves from. Our boys have a lot of, of our St. Thomas boys to emanate. And we have our own Jody Brown this morning that I am sure many of you would like to emanate. We also have we also have our own 
Mario Sams. Mario Sams has been an exemplary for the boys in St. Thomas, a homegrown boy. And I would like you all to emanate Mario Sams. We have our very own Dr. Peter Nelson that I would like all of you to emanate. And Dr. Peter Nelson will tell you that in his earlier days as a young boy, he was not focused. He will tell you that at times he failed his exam. But when he met on a teacher who oh, he loved very much, he said that he would like to emanate that teacher. And there and then he started to get focused. And today, our own Dr. Peter Nelson, a homegrown boy, he is a specialist in chemistry and mathematics at the University of the West Indies. So you have a lot to emanate. And I'd like to say to you, the words love, kindness, courteous, courteous, be courteous. I remember in former days when I was going to Morant Bay High School, we have a young boy, we call him Golly Duck. He's a big man now, a superintendent of police. Might I say deputy commissioner. And he used to like the girls. And he used to walk around in the chemistry lab and he used to tease us. And I remember, I said something very tasty to him. And when I went back into my class and I opened my locker, I saw a nice little note with a heart on it. Rosie, darling, I love you. And a lot of men don't say I love you. They feel that to say I love you is not really manly. When a woman will say I love you, we taught our boys not to cry because crying from our culture is a, is, a, is a sense of weakness. No, it's not. When you cry as a man, it shows that you're human. So, my little fellows here, students from the various primary school, I'd like to say to you the word love, that's the first thing, kindness, that's another, and you must always, you must always extend a hand to the elderly because a society that does not care for their elderly is a society where we'll have problems tomorrow so mr brown i would like to thank you and your and your team to really organize this function because this function is a start and i think that it should be replicated right across jamaica so you are the first and I'd like to congratulate you on behalf of the Eastern St. Thomas Constituency Executive for achieving this goal. I know you a very long time from you as a little boy. So now you are a big man with a big heart. And I must say congratulations. Boys, remember now the word love, gratefulness. You must always and don't let anybody tell you that it is not human to cry yeah cry if you must and i wish you all the best as the theme said you are the future men of tomorrow thank you very much god bless you listen you listening to me now all eyes on me boys listen to me now listen to me look this way now the mayor of Morant Bay. And you notice something about the mayor? He's doing a wonderful job in this town. Oh, yeah. You notice that he has been painting the, the curves in Morant Bay. Have you noticed that? Yes. You notice that he also ensured that piercers are not parked in the wrong space because a lot of times indiscipline takes place, yes? And he's ensuring that order is taking place. And so we have our mayor this morning in our midst to talk to you and to bring greetings. So let us give it a round of applause for Mr. Hubert Williams, Mayor of Morantsby.
guess this podium was built for a top person. <laughs> Um, to a master of ceremony, um, former mayor and caretaker of Eastern Centre Mass, Miss Rosemary Shaw. This is the Walker. Miss Rodney, our parish manager for JCBC. Um, Representative of Glasgow, Miss Anna K. McIntosh, um, I just saw our distinguished attorney from the first year, Mr. Bertram, my schoolmate at Mary High School, real center mass man. Other distinguished guests, Vice Principal, who oh, I can't leave you out, you know, of Mark Bay Primary, Miss, I saw the name, Mrs. Brown. Other officers of LASCO, other distinguished guests, good morning. I first want to start off by, you know, acknowledging the work and, you know, creativity of Mr. Lassel Ch um, Chin, who have just passed. You know, um, based on my knowledge, he was the founder of LASCO, and he, uh, he has, you know, done an excellent job to bring LASCO to where it is today, you know. Um, most of the giants here in Jamaica, way older than LASCO, but LASCO have, you know, somewhat aced its step. And, and, and caught up with them, you know, in the whole uh, processing, food processing industry. So I just want to salute him and I can't wait. But well, this morning, I want to give Mr. Joe the Brown a special salute. And I believe he deserves it very much because of his accomplishment as a teacher, as an educator. And it's very important that when we have, you know, leaders from our parish, it's important for us to highlight them and, you know, you know, show them all the praises that they duly deserve. Because a lot of times, we wait to when people dead, you know, before we really say that they were great. But it's important for us to understand that we have legends walking among us and we need to salute these legends and give them the respect that they deserve. So I want us this morning to just salute Mr. Jordan Brown to let him know that we appreciate him and we, 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 we see his victory as our victory, as a center mass victory. So Mr. Jordan Brown, big up yourself in plain Jamaican language. But it's very important for our young man to have the right values and attitudes. And I think that's where society structure, and I'm speaking specifically to Jamaica, of breaking down. Our young men, they, young men, they don't have a lot of, you know, good values and attitude out here in the street, and it's affecting society. If you look even the way they dress, the way they talk, a lot of the time, they are good ones amongst them. I want to make that put out that disclaimer, but. When we look at the problem that we are having in society, a lot of time we did grow our young people well. It's a failure from the previous generation. So, when we have an event like this, it's important for us to let the young man know that the young men know that uh, there is a choice. There is the right way and there is the wrong way. And if you do things the right way, there will be a reward. But if you do it the wrong way, there will also be a penalty. Because there are consequences for every action. And whether it's good or bad, they just want to fit it. So, when we see an educator like a Jody Brown, it's important for us 
to guide our youth to understand that here is a good man for them to model off. You know, he is a good role model. And those are the, 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 the people in society that we want the youth to admire, not the ones that want to destroy society, not the ones that allow us to have one of the highest crime rates in the Caribbean. No, it's important for us to let them understand that if you model your life of good people, success will come. So this morning, I want to say to all our youths, please, please, I beg of you, look at somebody like a Jody Brown and let him be the person that you idolize, the person that you model. Because if you do so, your life will be good. But if you choose the other road, trust me, you know, <laughs> it will not be such a pleasant one. So good morning. Thank you. All right, give it a round of applause for Mr. Williams, Councilor Mayor. Williams. At this time, I'm going to invite Mrs. Marcia Dallas Mackenzie. We have to hasten um, the time, so I'm going to invite Mrs. Dallas Mackenzie to come and bring greetings. Good morning, everyone. Permit me at this time to make special recognition of our last teacher of the year, Mr. Jody Brown. Please recognize Mr. Brown, the Morant Bay Primary, is within your parish. Is within my QEC and is within our region. So we are very proud of Mr. Brown. I'd also like to recognize our boys. I listened as they shared their dreams, and I'm, I was particularly interested in the one that spoke about the, the superpower of being teleported. Because right away I thought, I wish I had that power as well. So I could be teleported to St. Thomas. And I'm sure that my colleagues from Kenwood Center would really love to have that power this morning. So we would not have to travel on the roads that we had to this morning. On behalf of the Ministry of Education and Youth, and in particular, our regional director, Acting Mrs. Yashika Blackwood Grant, I take pleasure in greeting you. As a ministry, we recognize the need to give urgent attention and support our males. The data shows that a large percentage of our girls consistently di display mastery in literacy and numeracy at the primary level, and also in many areas at the secondary level, where this is not usually the case for our boys. Furthermore, the data revealed that most males present with maladaptive behaviors. Thus, placing them at risk. As such, we are proud to share in your theme for today, Today's Boys, Tomorrow's Men. the famous teacher here and um, what you have to say to the, the young people that are out there in general be good be good do your work yeah get your education and do well in school and be a good example in school. all right thank you sir